Hello, and welcome to a briefing of the latest version of Act Link for Accounting, where we're going to cover off the new features present in the latest update. Here you'll see our standard fields that you can bring into the Act record. We're on the Company section here, but this applies to the Contact section as well. We still have our standard Invoices tab and Orders tab, but you'll notice that we can now sort by each of the columns whilst we're in these tabs. We've also added a new tab called Sage Invoices Lines. Now, we'll come back to talk about this tab a little bit later. Before we do, we're going to discuss the new filtering mechanism. So you'll notice that the filtering options appear on Invoices and Sales Orders, as well as on the new Sage Invoices Lines tab as well. Now, there are lots of possibilities for the filters. These are taken from the fields that you choose in your initial field setup. In this case, we're going to use the stock code field column, and we'll be filtering by books 001. Now, when we click apply, you can see that filter is now in place, and we can remove it just by clicking clear as well. We also have a tick box there that allows you to show only the posted invoices if you want to. Now, let's take a quick look at the sales analysis fields that you can add to your layout. These fields that we've created give you five years worth of net sales analysis for the account from Sage, whereas Sage itself only gives you one year to view. And these five years worth of figures show net sales. So this is based on the value of invoices, less credits, and it's excluding VAT. Now let's take a look at the settings here. So this section is an import from date and time setting. You can then query the tables to choose how much Sage transactional data you want to import. It allows you to manage how many invoice lines and order lines you're bringing in. So you'll notice as we swap between dates here, it always gives you the total number of Sage accounts and delivery addresses, but the number of transactions has changed. So the invoice items and the sales orders specifically. So this really is the starting place for setting up the import and allows you to limit the data you want to bring in. And that's particularly valuable if you've got someone who has lots of old records. We would recommend a five years maximum when you're importing this data. In the field setting section, we've rewritten this as well so it's a lot more responsive than it was. Now, not only can you select the specific fields that you want, but a new feature that we've added is that you can drag these fields up and down in the list and reorder them however you want. And this ordering will be used in how the fields display in their relevant tabs in the program. The program is also more forgiving in terms of act memory management as well when building fields and linking records. Now, the other major thing that we've done is regarding this new Sage Invoices Lines tab. We can now create dynamic groups using the invoices lines custom table. Now, because this is a custom table in ACT, you will need the custom tables extension functionality in order to utilize it. Now, if we edit this query we've got set up here, you'll see on the dropdown that the custom tables appear for both the company records and the contact records, because we've set up both in this particular database. Remember, though, that the group section in ACT works specifically with contacts. So when you're selecting your custom table here, make sure to choose only those that reference your contact section. In this case, you can see we've selected stock code books 001 and the date. We could also add here that tick box we've seen earlier to only show posted invoices if we wanted to. Now, in this example, we've got 22 contacts who've purchased books 001. When I look up this group and go to Ian Cairn's contact record here, we'll now go into the Sage Invoices Lines tab to confirm that he definitely has that stock code of books 001. Now, once that filter is set up here, if I then move between different contact records in this lookup, it would show me that that filter stays as you look through each record. Now, creating groups in this manner is extremely beneficial as it really opens up the whole scope for email marketing to customers based on what they have purchased already. And that's it for the new features. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you enjoy using ActLink for accounting.